now kind of God. And what he was faithful to do back then, sure enough, he's faithful to do here and now. And he's going to be faithful to me, to kingdom come and then some. But if you're here tonight and you're in a battle, because life is real, we're all human. If you're in a fight, it could be anything, it could be a health battle, it could be dealing with grief. You have a broken heart, the kind that feels like it will never go away, the kind that hurts in the deep of your stomach. Maybe you feel like there's a relationship that's broken and it eats away at you so much because it feels like everything you try to do to fix it just makes it worse. Maybe, um, maybe you just don't see another side to whatever it is you're facing. And the thing about the Psalms speaks of what God did. But it speaks to who God is now. And sometimes we live at the moment, you know, this thing called faith. It's just a journey. Placing our trust in God. And the truth is everything in this life that we um, place our trust in at one point or another is going to let us down. Except for that which is God, His Word, His Kingdom. And Jesus said in His life, you face troubles. Being a Christian doesn't make your life perfect. He said, you'll face troubles, but take heart, for I've overcome the world. The Bible says, you know, everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And who knows, we're living in a world that is trembling and shaking and is tearing apart the seed. And yet, God says, the mind is an unshakable kingdom. The only sure thing we've got to hang on to is Christ and Christ crucified, Jesus resurrected, that his life, the power that rose him from the grave, is now alive and working in us. And we're living in the space between. He's given us his Holy Spirit, he's called us his church, and he's invited us into the plan. And he didn't say it's going to be easy. God knows it's going to be worth it. And so whatever it is you're going through, I'm not saying it's not real. I'm saying that it hurts probably every bit as much as it hurts and then some, but I'm just saying keep going. Keep trusting God. Because my, you know this, when you look back at what God has done, you know, there was times and seasons, if you've lived long enough, you walked through, there was moments that made no sense. You were crying out to God and maybe it didn't seem like God came through in that moment and it was confusing. But every single time that's happened in my life, you know, hindsight's 2020, all of a sudden you look back and you see what you thought God should have done, but God had a different plan. And he took you a different way. And on the other side of it, you look back and go, thank God God got me out of that. Because he knows what we're going, he knows what our desires are, and he knows what we need. And he uses every trick and every against him. And he uses every slip up, every mess up, everything we go through. He has this amazing way of making redemptive. It's like we're all these, like I make, I play wrong notes every night. But God, he just changes the score to make the melody more beautiful. I love that about God. Just give it time, keep going. But if that's you, you need prayer in this place. Why don't you raise your hands to heaven? We're going to believe that God's going to do something here and now. And if you would, right up the top, everywhere. If you have faith just to believe that God's going to move in this place. Why don't you stretch your hands out as well? We're going to pray as a big family, big church family. God, I